It wasn't too long ago where Nick Merckx recently announced that he was joining Kick. Now comes today, he's announced that he's officially leaving Kick to go back to Twitch. All right, guys, you guys probably remember when Nick Merck signed this massive streaming deal to join Kick, and it was rumored to be worth around, I believe they quoted it at somewhere in the $10 million range that he was signed to go to Kick. This is on the heels of XQC signing that massive $100 million deal, and this is what he had to say early on talking about his Kick deal. How you doing? How you doing? First stream on kick. I plan to stream all week. We are officially back on the grind, man. Pencil me in this week. All week. All five days, man. We're streaming. Back on it. We got a lot to look forward to, man. Listen, let's answer some questions off the rip, man. You guys got questions here for me? The first question I've been seeing is like, yo, Nick, are you going to do gambling streams? <laughs> Season yard! We're not going to do... A shit ton, but we're going to do some gambling for sure. It's part of the contract, you know. With that being said, we got another place because you can't do it in America. You have to go somewhere else. So we went somewhere else and we got another place. Not the end of the month. Wait, what is it? Yo, okay, it's October. In November, a couple weeks into November, I'm taking you with me. We're going on the PJ together and we're going to do some sick shit. Bruh, Canada, it's October, Canada. Nobody's going to Canada, bro. Well, XQC is going to Canada. Now, here's the thing, guys. If you don't know or you're new to this, there's a huge or it used to be a huge controversy about streamers gambling on Twitch. The way it worked out was Stake was sponsoring people like uh, XQC and Trainwrex and other, other people to simply just gamble on Twitch. And then eventually Twitch will ban Stake and then Stake would leave. They would start kick and then, you know, the, the rest is pretty much history. Now, Nick Merckx went over there uh, and it was like some controversy early on when he went over there because XQC said, hey, gambling was not a part of the contract. But the thing was that when it comes to gambling on stream, some, you know, some people like your Pokemans, your Mizkiffs, your Hassans, they're anti-gambling. And when he said, hey, you know, he had to gamble, XQC kind of corrected him and said, hey, no, he doesn't have to gamble. He's choosing to gamble because you actually get more money for doing it. They'll, you know, you can you can get the straight up streaming deal just to stream or you can get a little bit more money if you, you know, take a stake deal because kick and stake are two separate companies, even though one owns the other. Now, the same could be said about Amaranth. She went over there, too. She was getting a bag. She's still getting a bag. Uh, your rage is over there. A lot of people went to kick similar to when Ninja went to Mixer because it's it's money, man. It's the money. I got money. Who would not take millions of dollars to go over there to do what you already do? It's just on a different platform. Now, you got some altruistic uh, people like, oh, no, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay on Twitch because uh, insert reason here, because, you know, maybe uh, they don't like the Jack Doherty's or the the neons that are on kick or all the other uh, <laughs> unscrupulous individuals on there. But the biggest one was XQC. Now XQC did sign a hundred million two two year deal and his deal. I think, it, I think a lot of people's deal ends in late 2025 because it was, he signed a two year or as people like Bruce drop him off, he was not too happy and he just didn't take the second year after they asked him to sign an NDA. Uh, this is a crash out king right here. No one can quite crash out like Bruce. Everybody talking about kick this, kick that. Da -da -da -da. You see why you mind your own fucking business, nigga? Because for a whole year, these motherfuckers believe that I got $80 million. There is no fucking way in the goddamn hell you niggas swore up and down y'all knew my business more than me. There's no now he did get millions. I don't know if it was I, I don't know if it was more than 10, but his deal was a little murky whereas everyone's a little bit more transparent, but the the basis of most people's deal, they were paying you $10,000 per hour to stream. 
and everyone had different requirements for the most part. There's no way. Oh, there's literally no. There's literally no way. And then when some new business come out, everybody mad about the new business, nigga. You ain't know the business from the get go, nigga. But but anyways though, anyways though, my deal. I was always able to stream on Twitch. The, the niggas who never stopped watching know that. But what I don't like is <clears throat> how people feel so comfortable to speak on my business when they don't speak to me in general. Obviously, you know, I handled it behind the scenes, obviously. But yeah, Trainwreck said something about me losing the deal. No, I didn't take the second deal because they was trying to make me sign an NDA chat. And you know, I am not going. But it's all love to kick. It's all love to kick because you know what's crazy? They're still giving new and up and coming people opportunity. And they gave me one of the best opportunities I've ever. He's ever had in his life. Now, he would go on the trash kick a little bit later. Uh, but you had a lot of people going there. You know, Hakuro Nakamura playing chess over there. He got a couple million. Uh, Vitali is over there faking uh, catching predator videos. Aiden Ross is rumored to be making around $50 million a year. Ice Poseidon, Amaranth, and all that. But the reason why we're here today is because Nick Merckx is saying he's going back to Twitch. And this is likely going to be the sentiment of pretty much everyone who got a deal from Kick. And some believe that XQC will also follow suit once his contract expires. So Nick Merckx explains why he's choosing Twitch as Kick streaming deal expires. And here's the thing why, look, guys, if you paid me $10 million, for one year to be on your platform, and then you say, hey, deal is up. Are you going to pay me another $10 million? Well, we're not going to pay you another $10 million. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to Twitch, where, you know, people like the community. They like, you know, the mechanics of how it work. Uh, maybe the brand, you know, everyone has their own personal reasons. But if you pay a person to do it to a job, and then you say, hey, I'm not going to pay you no more, it's no surprise that they're going to say, hey, well, if I could just choose where I want to be, I'm going to go back to the place where I feel the most com comfortable. Popular streamer Nick Merckx uh, has announced his return to streaming to Twitch primarily as his one year deal with rival platform Kick has concluded. Nick Merckx has streamed to Twitch for over a decade and continued to stream even after pinning a deal with Kick where it was reported worth $10 million, but non exclusive. So, you know, it allowed him to stream on both. So that was announced back in October, but you know, now, now it's clear. He, he made the tweet. Now I wish he would have cut a video on it. Uh, but he said, you know, look, lads, my kick deal is up. They show mad love over the last two years. And for that, I'm super grateful. Wishing them nothing but continued success. You know, this is a, uh, this is a professional, uh, way to get out there. It's possible. However, that, you know, he still uh, does some content on Kick as he added his streams will primarily be on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, boy. He leaves it off, you know, though no platform is perfect. I believe it's best for the community. See you tonight. Damn, Nick Merckx is going. Now, look, guys. Me personally, I think it's going to be over for Kick once everyone's contract expires. They're all going to return to Twitch. Amaranth, XQC, Your Rage, they're all going back to Twitch unless Kick says, hey, we'll pay you more money to stay on the platform. Kick had a, had a business idea that we'll pay them to be here. They'll build a great community. They'll like it so much that they will stay because they're community here. But everyone is like, uh, no. Nope. But what do you guys think about the future of Kick? Is it worth it? Is it going anywhere? Or should we just ring the bell on it?